be building a bunny shaped house and yes you heard that right watch this super cool transition look i fit the part that got the bunny ears and now it's time to build our bunny house what i'm thinking of doing is starting out with like a circular shape for the face of the bunny and then i'll add in the ears later does that really look like a bunny i i can't decide i mean it got the ears i think we're gonna go without because i have no other way of doing this like i have to physically make a bedroom a bathroom a kitchen a living room there you go <laughs> let's see if that actually can work we're gonna first start out with the kitchen area i'm gonna put some counters down right here so this kitchen is kind of looking old-fashioned and that's kind of the vibe i'm going for because when i think of a bunny house i think of like cottage core for some reason so this is how the kitchen is looking so far this blue color reminds me of like pastel easter and since it's a bunny house that makes sense <gasps> you know what else would be cute if i used like one of these stepping stools right next to the the oven for short people not me because i'm very tall very tall <laughs> uh, please don't bully me in the comments that can work it fills up a lot of room and then over here i can do my living room so i think that's what we're gonna go with so i'm gonna go with this stool we're gonna get one of these i'm gonna be placing it on top of this so you know how it is a bunny house i was trying to make a bunny chair but i don't quite know if that looks like a bunny but now i want to work on the layout of the living room i'll go with a pink and yellow color it's kind of vibrant and pastel that's the theme i'm going for and then what else we're missing is a fancy end table i'm going to be placing it right over here <gasps> look how cute that looks we have our very own bunny lamp it fits so well so now that we have this living room and this kitchen pretty much laid out we have to go lay out the bedroom and the bathroom we of course need a bed okay i'm gonna use this fancy bed and we're gonna be placing it right over here because this gives us space to put some stuff on the side of the bed <gasps> bam ah, that looks so cute okay wait please tell me that is not adorable that is absolutely adorable and now to match the ears i'm going to be coloring this color into a pink i just gave the bunny bed and some little bunny toes oh my goodness this is adorable not to hype myself up or anything but this is i really like how this turned out maybe we can also use a mirror <gasps> and with this mirror i have an idea i copy paste this and i put it behind the mirror oh my goodness this decal is gonna be my favorite <gasps> i want a hanging chair I could put it in this corner so it occupies some space. So we gotta get some fancy fragrance sprays to smell good. You know, our bunny house is gonna smell like... What do bunnies smell like? They smell like bunnies? <laughs> Bunny fragrance. Buy it now. I don't know what I'm holding up, but thank you, editor, for putting it in. <laughs> we need some fairy lights. That's what we need. There we go. Now we just kind of have to be coloring and decorating everything else in the room. Oh, we'll go with this green. There it goes! So this is how the bedroom is looking. Maybe I just have to add in a flooring. What color floor are we gonna do? I kind of like this beige. It's very happy colors. It screams bunny bedroom. I, in my opinion, at least. I also think we need a few paintings around the walls. So I'm gonna put some down here like that. So this is how the bedroom turned out. I actually thought it was gonna look a little bit worse, but it doesn't It doesn't look too bad. And I'm saying that with full honesty. If you disagree, that's on you. Just like the bedroom, the bathroom is going to be an odd shape, but we are going to make it work. I'm gonna put this archway cut out over here just to put some soaps or whatever. And if you couldn't already guess it, I'm gonna also put these little ears over here because it's so adorable, okay? People in the comments right now, why did she use bunny ears for absolutely everything she made? You know those little like bunny feet I added onto the bed? Well, I literally just sent it to the bathtub and I'm obsessed. For the colors in the bathroom, the counter space is gonna be a laurel green. So I'm just gonna color that there. And now to decorate it, we're gonna use some of these new items. Some nail polish bottles, some luxury fragrance sprays. And then I'll also add in some books here. I don't quite know why there would be books in the bathroom. So please do not ask. This wheat color is like a yellow, but not too bright. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe we can make it a double door. We can get this door and then we'll get this arched opening and create a door out of it. And then on this side, I kind of want to put a laundry machine, but I don't think it will work unless I do something like this. I guess that can work as long as it's sticking out slightly. It doesn't quite cover out the passageway. To finish up this laundry room, I'm just gonna add a basic blanket and move it off to the side because laundry rooms are full of clothes everywhere so this can kind of represent that
that type of idea. There is so much space to put this toilet down on this wall. Where should I place it? I think here is perfect. You know, it gives a little bit of perspective to the bathroom. When you're sitting on it, you can admire everything from a high distance. I'm gonna put it above the ground, like not touching the ground because you know, bunnies hop and they can hop on the toilet. I'm also gonna put down the step stool just in case, you know, they, they need additional assistance to get on top of the toilet seat. To decorate this wall, I literally have no other ideas on what else to do. So I'm just gonna duplicate this window and place it like this. This doesn't look bad. I've never used this pattern. You know what? I think I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna keep that. I just figured out what we're missing. We're missing some wall trims. Wall trims do so much for like any single room. You see how much better that looks? Look, look how plain it is. And then you add this and bam, it looks so good. We just finished decorating the bathroom, the laundry room, and the bedrooms. Now we just have to finish up the kitchen and the living room. I'm going to place down this decal of carrots on to the bunny's plate. Maybe instead of the blue, we can add this yellow color. I feel like it's a lot brighter. Maybe a yellow and green. Look how that looks. Wait. I like that. That's too dark though. I like that color green. Part of me really likes how this color scheme is going. Another part of me is like, Panda, this is a little bit, this doesn't match at all. But you know what? It's a bunny house. Bunnies don't know how to color stuff. I'm sorry, bunnies. I did not mean to insult you. I don't know if I should align the wall like this. I mean, if I put pillars, maybe it will look good. I can't tell if I like it or if I've just been building for too long. <laughs> a part of me likes it because it's like an opening and then there's like a wall. So it's like sectioned off and you can tell that it's two different rooms. And then for this, I'm just gonna outline it with one of these fences and just color it to be this blue. I think that's the kitchen. And now we just have to pretty much decorate this living room area. For the entrance, this wall is slightly empty. So I guess I'm gonna put that down there. I do have this bunny basket over here, which is pretty cute. And I wanna have it hanging. I actually just remembered I have this bunny clock. So I think I'm gonna replace this with my bunny clock. It's so cute. Look at it. Oh my goodness. This wall down here is really plain so adding in this wall trim will do the trick i'm also going to be duplicating these ears and put them on the doors because it's a bunny house and the doors also need bunny ears and then the final thing i think we're missing are some pillows to decorate this sofa and that is our sofa decoration i even added in one and two blankets just because i thought it would be a cute addition and now the final things we have to do is add in some lights and then a roof so i'm gonna add that and then the rest is just gonna be a flat roof so now let's take a look at the final result of this bunny house. Walking in, you see that I placed down some carrots. We have a cute little picture of an actual bunny because he owns this place. Here is the kitchen. We have some carrots all over the place, some picnic baskets. We have some flowers and we even have some bunny seats that you actually sit sideways on. Uh, let's pretend they're, they're straightforward. <laughs> I added a carpet of a bunny bum. Do you see over here the tables on top of it? and our pastel couches along with an Easter basket. Before we go into a room, here is a bunny carpet along with some bunny decorations and just a lot of pastel colors. And then in this room over here is a bedroom. We have the lovely bunny seating area that actually sits straight, not like the kitchen ones. We have some decorations and then we have a bunny mirror over here. We even have a bunny bed with even toes of the bunny and the bunny ears, which is my favorite addition of this whole entire build. Then we have a hanging chair along with a vanity mirror where the bunnies can do their makeup, of course. And now on the other side is a different room, which brings us into the laundry room. Just, just a little section to fill up this area. And then we enter the bathroom. We have the seat that the bunnies have to hop onto the toilet just to reach it. They even have a stepping stool because I'm so nice. And then here is the bunny bathtub along with um, the bunny mirror and cabinets and everything like that. That was the bunny house. Let me know down below what you rated out of 10. Bye.